guys welcome back one more time to my youtube channel it's been a while since we last saw each other you will understand why i'm smiling so much because i'm doing something crazy welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a while for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe to it i know i look a bit rough today like eyebrows ain't done nails is not there i'm not really being the bad bitch that i really am just because you know i want to tell you all about all right so um for those of you that obviously need to my channel don't forget to subscribe um i'm gonna give you like a little update on how i'm doing and the reason why i've been so quiet so um i remember one of my first videos when i first started my channel was growing up with big breast right uh anyways yeah so let me just tell you how i'm doing uh going back to the second year of uni everything's good blah blah, blah everything great mm. Bare work, knocking it out. Yeah, cool. Work here and there, but we're moving. We're, we got a move, fam. <laughs> you know? I don't even know where to start telling you guys this. It's absolutely mental. Because it's something that I never actually thought I would have... I would do. Do you know what I mean? So, for me to actually take that step is like, whoa. How am I really doing this sort of thing? I haven't been uploading or anything like that. I have been recording videos and I've been leaving them on private. Because I just feel like to release them whenever they've got to be released sort of thing. So because I'm supposed to upload a video every week, I would rather record the videos, have them on private. And then whenever they're ready to be published, just publish them, publish them, publish them. Instead of having to like sit down every week, record, edit. Because it's too long. Um... Oh, happy new year, everyone, by the way. Um, I have used 2019 as a year to literally value myself more for what I really am, sort of thing. Um, I made some, some mad decisions in life. I have invested in my business. I have been able to bring my business forward. I have taken leadership because I'm a boss and I actually didn't know that I was a boss like that. So to be honest, I always knew I was a boss, but I never actually decided to, you know, bring that bossy bit out of out, right? But you know what? The boss is here now. My business is going very good. Um I'm gonna write the name of the business page down here is HS Beauty thanks for everyone that's been ordering hair you guys can still book your makeup with me um the name has obviously just changed from what it used to be i'll leave all the details below as well at the end of this video and the big big thing yeah so i know that at the beginning of this channel towards the beginning i must have made a video saying how um, growing up with big rest that was the title of the video going up with big rest so in that video i'm obviously saying how my experience has been how um has been since when i was little and how i used to like suffer in pe but i never used to care that much uh because i was not aware i used to hate bras and stuff like that and surgery is not something i would ever consider just because I never felt any sort of back pains or anything like that. But I always told myself, if at some point it starts to um, affect me in a way, I will consider sort of thing. But every time people used to tell me, I used to be like, no, 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 like sort of thing. Because you know those people, they like to be up in your business. Cool. Now, not because, not because of people, I've got to a point where buying bras is expensive 25 i'm spending like 22 pounds per bra where it's sort of you know when i'm ordering clothes i basically just 
have to be a size bigger just because my top bit is a bit bigger than my bottom that's the sort of things that i considered you know i was starting to get tired of having big boobs because i thought you know what by the time i done that video i my breast wasn't that big but now that i'm looking at it my breast continue to grow grow and grow and i thought no way like call my phone ring my dad dad fam you need to take this forward because you know but that's actually something i would never consider i didn't even like surgeries i've had surgeries twice when i was younger i must have broke my leg so i had to have two surgeries but i don't remember anything about it now um i don't really like surgeries i don't like pain and stuff but um i've considered and i'm taking it forward so i will be vlogging the whole surgery thing and i want you guys to like actually see the process i want you guys to meet the team i have it's taken me like basically a year for me to be looking for clinics that would that would be good good reviews and etc and i've decided to go to clinic hub just because it's had quite good reviews and there's a lot of people that's been to it before as well uh i had a look at mccann health before that but i thought you know what mm, i don't want to do it in london because london is too expensive to just like reduce breasts sort of thing um all they're going to be doing is adjusting my breasts to my body size because I'm not a big person, but um, my breasts make me feel like I'm big, sort of thing. Um, I do embrace myself for what I am. Don't get me wrong, bitch. You could never take my confidence away. You could never. But it's got to a point where I'm actually tired of um, having to... Oh, even when I'm buying, like, for example, two set, two-piece bikini, yeah? I'm, why am I buying i'm paying basically double the price that you that you would pay just because i'm small at the bottom and i'm bigger at the top so it'll be like i'm paying for two sets just so i get like a bigger bra and then it's not it's not fair i just want to be able to be one size and stick to one size sort of thing instead of you know being unbalanced this is not because i am reducing my breasts that i'm not gonna love myself for what i am trust me i do love myself for what i am and i know that there's a lot of girls as well that are out there insecure and etc uh about their bodies but i always encourage people to love themselves like i've lived with it i've had people laughing at me i've had people um put i've had childish people yeah let, let me not even bring names but if you know who you are then at me Cause you could never yeah so i've had people like uh put um pictures of myself like together with saying that i look bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom and etc and you know what that's basically never sort of affected me it may have affected me at some point when i was younger but now that i've grown it's like mm, do you really take your time of the day to actually do something like that sort of thing however i am who i am you are who you are love yourself for what you are and do whatever you have to do to make yourself feel comfortable i don't have back problems i've never had back problems it was just a decision that i made from one day to another because i realized that for the past two years my breasts have grown even more than they were so i just thought you know what no way like how can they be growing like this anyway so uh today is the 8th of jan 2020 and i am flying out tomorrow morning let me tell you guys yet yeah, some of the guy some of the things that the guidelines were asking me to do take out my nails that doesn't allow me to be the bad bitch that i really am okay so i can't have nails during the surgery i have to go with my natural hair hence why you're seeing my hair like this can't even be asked to comb because if you put a comb through my hair right now i'll scream um what else have sickle nail, var uh, nail varnish from my toes and etc. Uh, all my piercings have to come off. I don't know why I'm, how I'm going to do this. But all my piercings have to come off. Like I'm really scared of taking off these two. Because ever since I've got them done. Never took them off. Yes I cleaned them and etc. But I'm scared of taking them off. Yeah. All the piercings are coming off. And I'm scared as fuck. Not because of the surgery. I'm scared that the piercing, the, the holes close. 
But anyways, let me not overthink. You know, everything's going to be cool. By the time I come out, you know, my house is still going to be open. And I'm not going to have to go through the piercing process again, you know, and we move. Yeah, that's some of the things that they were asking me. But um, there's a lot. It was a lot to take in in the guidelines, by the way. Um, I am going to read out the message I got today. And I'm going to start um, putting all the videos together so you guys can see how it was pri one day prior to me actually flying out to Istanbul. Yeah. Message I got today. Can you stop your music? Thank you. This is the message I got today. Hello, dear Harriet. Thank you for choosing Clinic Hub. I'm Asu. I'm Istanbul coordinator of Clinic Hub. We are very excited to meet you. Once once you arrive at the airport and claim your luggage, you pass through custom exit. You see people holding boards. Please look out for the code CEO34. It's the code airport given us. Our meeting team will be there, take you to the driver, and your driver will take you to your hotel. Didi Man. My hotel is called Didi Man. But I'm going to show you more about it when I'm there. Um, I had a choice as well, so, you know, I'll tell you a lot later. Um, you rest there until your surgery day. Please don't drink or eat after 10 p.m. on Thursday night as your surgery will be on Friday. So I arrive there tomorrow and then my surgery is the day after. Then he said, I will inform you about the time you will be transferred to the hospital after you arrive. On your surgery day, you will stay at the hospital for one night to rest with your professional nurse care. Your translator will be there to guide you throughout your stay at hospital. After this charge, we will transfer you back to the hospital to rest until your departure day and I will arrange a nurse, vis a nurse to visit you every day at the hotel. Please don't hesitate to contact me during your stay. Have a safe flight. I'll send you an instruction sheet as well. Please read it. You may find answers to your questions, which is basically what he said. So I know that this is real and this is really happening. Oh my God! I am currently extra, extra sleepy. We are on a coach now and we're about to depart and we're making it to Stansted by 7.40. It was really not that deep to bring um, a lot of things. So in terms of like, we didn't even buy like um, a bag sort of thing. We didn't even get like a luggage. We didn't buy luggage, so we don't have to drop anything. This is the worst. I hate security check. And there's like a whole thing to go through this bullshit. It's already set. We are about to go. Never flew this airline before, but it's so tight in here. Mind is high. Istanbul so we just landed yeah so we just landed and yeah now I'm gonna have to go outside and look for the person that's standing with my code as I read to you lot yesterday so it will be CEO 34 and we move Is so, we've gone to my accommodation, which is called Dade Man. 
or DD, whatever how you say it. And I'm going to check in now. Guys, not gonna lie, so my battery may have died, but I'm gonna show you everything, yeah? A little bit of the corridor, and then me and my mom are going down to the um swimming pool later. So obviously, this is my room number, 803. Come in, put the lights on. You see the little toilet? Very nice. Oh, girl. Then the shower, which is so posh. Look at the way these doors close. Oh, you can't do that. You can't. And one again. You can't. I don't want to break it today, so then you've got like this little cupboard in here, a little safe, drawers, then cups and kettle water, etc. My mum's getting coffee already, and this is a room, so I've got my bed, she's got her bed, and all very, very cute. So me and my mum are getting ready to go to the swimming pool now. Um this is the last 24 hours that I am going to have big breasts because after I'm not. So, you know, I want to wet myself as much as I can just because after my surgery, I can't have a shower um, because of the stitches and stuff. So I can only wash my body separately. Like, I can't have a shower until, like, it's been... A week, I think, or five days. But anyways, we moved to the pool. I'm gonna show you guys how how posh this lift is. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna pull oops the lift down and this side. See which one comes faster. And when we're inside, I'm going to show you guys. So what is up to me? Oops. Yeah, so you basically insert your room key and then it takes you up to your room. But in this case, we're going to the swimming pool, which is down there. Sorry about my dressing, but yeah, whatever. Let's go. All right, so we're ready for the swimming pool. There's a gym. Very nice. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, this is so nice and warm. Jesus damn Christ, you're not ready. We're not going to stay too long because my surgery is tomorrow and um, I can't eat past 10. We're trying to pick something to eat. And obviously I can't have something too heavy. Yeah, I don't know what the hell to eat. And you know what, like... Um, can't eat past 10 and there's one hour left to hit 10 so we finally ex exchanged that money and this is it oh cute guy alright this now has a funny smell but I can't wait to try it because it's obviously seafood and everyone knows I love seafood that's my last plate Finished eating, now we're going back to the room. I had to ask for takeaway because my plate was a bit too deep, therefore there was like more pasta than anything. Um, can't eat anymore, can't drink anymore because I need to be up at 5.30 a.m. as that's the time that much. No, I have to get up around like, let's say five or 4.50 because my transfer to the hospital is gonna be here. 5.30 a.m. I just don't understand why it's so early. But anyways. I'm excited for tomorrow. Bye-bye to my current breasts. They're no longer going to be here. This is probably the most difficult part for me. So it is 3 a.m. in here. I'm getting picked up to get transferred to the, hotel, to the hospital at 5.30 so like in two hours i woke up at midnight because i can't adjust my sleep to turkey i cannot three hours ahead is too much i feel like i've overslept now 
and I'm so thirsty and hungry and I cannot eat. I feel my throat so dry, like the desert. I never valued water so, so much in my life. Because obviously, like, prior to my surgery, I can't have water or can't have any drink or I can't eat. I feel helpless, fam. This is like, I don't know, I feel so dehydrated right now. There's no way. So I'm just gonna go and have my shower and then get ready to get transferred to the hospital. Woohoo, how exciting. So my last hours with this breast because it's, it's just not gonna be there. Yeah, so we are now leaving the room. And we're gonna go downstairs and i'm going to get transferred to the hospital now i just want to get over and done with i want to get to meet the team and etc so we left the room now six minutes to half past five in the morning um currently two o'clock in london two yeah two a.m so yeah we're going down to check out from the hotel and going to the to to get the transfer to the hospital then i'm gonna do all sorts of checkups blood tests and etc and then we move i just need to have the surgery now so i can drink some water i can't go to bed without water yeah okay so we came downstairs and our private transfer is already here thank you okay. very nice on the inside this one's a bit different and they gave us like some lunch packs but the funny thing is because obviously we can't have the buffet breakfast the funny thing is that i can't eat and my mom can so she can eat that let me show you what it has inside so oh wow i wish i could eat right now yeah so they give us this and juice don't know how that tastes but i'm looking to try it and one apple that's nice very nice this so look i'm on my way to the hospital right now so guys wish me luck oh so i've got like my own little recovery room in the a uh, place where I'm actually going to be. This should be the toilet. Yeah. How the toilet is like. Oh, it's kind of cute. Okay. Don't understand the seat, but it's cute. Oh. Huh. So we're here now, and I'm seeing water again. I can't wait for this to be done because I'm just so thirsty. But yeah, I guess this is where I'm gonna be until I'm discharged. So I best make myself at home. So they told me to lay down. Some nurse just come and done some blood tests on me. <laughs> I'm actually not being serious. It's just a simple fact that like. She couldn't find my vein and that's never happened. Every time I go for blood tests and stuff like that, they always tell me, oh, your vein is good, blah, blah, blah. If I don't know what's going on, that my vein was trying to act up today. So she had to slap my hand a couple times and I can barely even move it, but I want to show you guys. Ooh, I'm even bleeding. Well, no, it's dry blood. So she left some needle inside now, which I guess that's how I'm going to get anesthesia. Um... <laughs> I'm not scared, but it's like I can't think. I can't be serious. No, but I'm actually not taking things serious. So basically, they gave me like this thing. It's because I haven't done this since I was little. Like, because I last broke my leg when I was like five years old. So I don't remember anything. I do know how things have to go, but I'm scared of moving my hand because obviously she's been slapping my hand um, to find a vein a bit. 
so it hurts a little bit when I move it so I'm scared so I had to just sign a lot lots of papers she I have like a little board in here don't know if you lot can see it but it says hungry which must mean that I haven't eaten then get well soon um and I guess she's my nurse but she's really nice though um girl I look good in these I'm still a bad bitch. 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 Oh. <laughs> my mom's gonna help me put this on. My mom is not liking my behavior so far. <laughs> what does she expect me to do? To cry? I'd rather be excited. Right? So, <laughs> I am here with the coordinator. Alivita. I'm Alivita yeah. from Clinic Hope. Okay. I'm a field coordinator. I'm really uh, happy to meet you. <laughs> hope your surgery is gonna be fine yeah <laughs> thank you and what you, uh, what's gonna happen next and now today you're gonna have your surgery mm -hmm. one day you will stay in the hospital then, you, then you're gonna be discharged tomorrow I think uh, and you will stay in hotel here yeah yeah so uh, we have nurses in the hotel they will come every day to check you they will give all medication to you they will change your dressings every day and if you have any problem, you can contact me. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> so he has now marked my thing. And I'm waiting 25 minutes and then I'm going inside. I hope everything's going to be okay. Because um, now I'm a little bit nervous. But to be honest, I don't want to be nervous. I just, I just want to think that everything's going to be fine. So yeah. We move, and when I wake up from from it, I will obviously like um, tell you guys how it went. My hair is messy, but who cares? I'm still waiting for me to go in. I've just had the nurse come and give me some some nasty drink. She said it's an asphyxia drink, so I guess, but it didn't taste good. So I have now woken up from my surgery. I feel so weak. Absolutely weak. But it went very well. Apparently. And I feel my breath is very different. Don't know why my lip is swollen. I really don't know. Maybe because of the anesthesia, but everything else went really well. But I haven't, I haven't even got the strength to hold my phone right now. Imagine, I thought I could have water straight away after the surgery. Tell me why I can only have it four hours later. I'm so thirsty. I just want to cry. My babies have now grown smaller. They've gone from a double G to a D now. And that is mental. Like, I can feel it, everything. Like, it's absolutely mental. I'm not even in pain like that. But when I came back, basically, uh, all I remember is going into the surgery room. And I was like, um, there was like to me, <clears throat> we're just going to put you to sleep they did my they checked my blood pressure um then they said they're going to put me to sleep i said okay calm <clears throat> don't remember anything until someone slapped me someone tapped me and my nurse she's been very nice with me and she gave me a nickname of a baby um, she tapped me and she was like, baby, baby, wake up, it's done. And I said, oh, is it? What I was scared about is before I actually went to the surgery, I had to sign a few more papers and just had to have um, my surgeon, which is Douglas, marking down my where he's going to cut up and what he's going to remove and etc. And he told me because my nipples were a bit, my boobs were saggy. 
I could end up losing a nipple. Or in some cases, they would have to take out the nipple, place it aside, and once the boob is done, put the nipple back in and hope it survives. But you know what? I told myself, I'm, I'm just going to even pretend I didn't even hear what you said. Everything is going to be fine. I'm not going to lose a nipple either. So, whatever. So now when I went in at nine something and um, I came out at 1 p.m. As soon as I, as she woke me up and said, it's done, it's done. Are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. I said, may I have Oh, I was like, how did he go? She was like, it went really good, blah, blah, blah. You look really nice. Mm -hmm. Brought me back to my room. Um, and then the second thing I asked was water. I just want water. But they said to me, you can't drink or eat for the next four hours as well. Like, this is torture now. It's been 17 hours now. Or like 16 hours since I haven't drank anything so you can imagine how dry my throat is how dry I'm feeling I'm feeling like I've just woken up from the desert oh. bless my mother she prayed for me before I went in and God listens to prayers so everything went well and we moved bad bitches, even though I needed some oxygen. Because I was struggling a little bit to breathe. We move. Okay, baby. Bye-bye. Bye. Mother, after, cute. Okay? Okay, that's fine. Finally, they said I can drink water now. <sighs> so excited to drink water. No, don't. So I'm going to finally drink water. She bought me a little bit of ice. My nurse, and she put the ice. <clears throat> right. So this is the moment of the truth. That's all I ever needed, seriously. Now you're not going to hear me complain about water anymore. So I've got ice on top of me. And a little bit of the marker still. They bought me some food. Which I'm trying to at least sit up to eat it. But I don't know if I can sit up. Oh, in terms of the pain. I'm not feeling that pain. It's like a... I feel like pinches here and there, but the pain is really not that deep. However, I'm scared of getting up because as I'm making movements, I'm feeling the pinches a bit more. But I just want to be able to sit up and eat. That's all. Ooh. Ooh. It wasn't that hard. Okay. So here I am, sat down. Mamsi is there. Oh my god, I can really see a big difference. Huge difference. So, this is the food. Oh my god, I'm gonna faint. I'm probably gonna eat that soup. A little bit of rice. Okay. And the yogurt. So I'm here walking around the the actual clinic because I got told to walk for a bit. I don't know where I'm going, but just told me to walk. Yeah. Yeah. Where do I walk to? Just walk around. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting told to just walk around. I'm confused. Why am I walking around? <laughs> I'm so baffled right now. 
But yeah, I'm walking around. Where do I walk to? Just walk around? Okay. So yeah, I'm getting told to just walk around. I'm confused. Why am I walking around? <laughs> I'm so baffled right now. And they gave me this to hold. What the fuck is that? My wee? No way. It's coming from down there, so I guess it's down there. Wow. I feel absolutely new and not heavy. So I'm continuing my walking journey. Someone's in pain. But yeah, that's the view outside. And this is really my weed. This is how much I've weed, guys. In the process, and I haven't even felt the need to eat. So just weird. But whatever. This is connected to me down there. And this is my weed. So if any bitch try to come with anything, I'm making a drink of this. Oh, I get it now. They told me this is... This is my nurse. I think her name is Damla. And she's just observing me. And giving me medication, saying I can eat, I can drink, I can walk. Get well soon. Cute. Don't know what the hell is wrong with my lip. Like, how comes I did that? This is just so big and pain. It's not painful, but it's like, why is it there? So I'm eating the soup now. I'm gonna show you guys my soup, yeah. I'm gonna still fill up one day. Fucking empty the bag. It's full again. I don't even know how I'm weeing. I'm not. I don't feel like I need to wee. It just constantly keeps coming. Um, this is their slippers in case I didn't show you guys. By the way, they say Memorial, which is the name of the hospital I'm at. I might have to keep these socks because girl, a bad bitch. A real bad bitch out here. So I am using a tiny little bit of ice to thin there on top of my boobs just because they feel a little bit swollen. The pain is not that bad, as I said, but you know, the ice is making me feel so relieved as well. And whatever medication they're giving me, oh, it is making me so sleepy. Please absolutely ignore my hair. This is supposed to up day one. So my operation was yesterday. Uh, whatever tube was up my vagina, making me weed to that little bag that I showed you guys. And I told you guys I'll slap you with it if you tried. It's out of me. It was so fucking uncomfortable. They bought me but my lip is getting better but it's still a little bit swollen today early well it's currently 10 a.m for us turkish lot and it's 7 a.m for you guys in the uk um i had people come here earlier on i had my surgeon come here as well check my boobs check if they're fine he's a hero dr douglas which is his name he's a hero so i'm going to make sure i add him to the vlog he's just out of town for the next two days but he said he'll be back so we can right so i can add his bit of the vlog I can add his bit of the vlog as well to this video and i can't wait to show you guys how amazing this man is he is great like he's mad i just I don't even know like how you know what let me not even speak otherwise I'm gonna get very emotional just because there's people that God uses purposely to do things like this. Fam, I went from a double G to a fucking D. To me that is mental. But I'll show you guys how <clears throat> 
they bought me some breakfast, which I don't know where it is. They bought too far away, but my mom said they bought bread, uh, cheese, and they also bought me some fruit, which I have been snacking on. So there's only two left, but um, there was quite a lot, and this is very nice. <clears throat> don't know why, but my mom yesterday put the heating on and my throat is really killing me right now. E agora? Agora tá. Mas tá tudo. Deixa me falar. Um, this is post up day one. So my surgery was yesterday. Uh, it is currently 10 a.m. here for the Turkish lot, but it's 7 a.m. for you lot in the UK. 7 a.m. for you lot in the UK. I've had my surgeon come in today to double check if everything is fine with my boobs. Whatever tube was up my vagina and was making me weed in that little bag that I said that I'll slap you a lot with it if you guys ever tried anything with me. It's out of my vagina, so it felt so uncomfortable anyways. Um, so now I can just wee normally. I am getting discharged today, I believe. That's how good I'm doing. Um, they bought me some fruit. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. They bought me some fruit and I've been snacking with it. There's only one apple left. And they bought me some breakfast, which I'll show you guys what it is when my mom brings it closer. She said it's bread and stuff, but they put so far away, and I understand. But anyways, like when my mom brings it closer, I'll show you guys. Also, I will be adding my surgeon to this vlog. Ignore my hair, by the way. I'll be adding my surgeon to this vlog. He's a hero. That man, he's definitely used by god but i can't even talk too much about him because i will get emotional but he is such a great man he is a good surgeon his name is dr douglas and he's very nice so he's out of town for the next two days doing some works but as soon as before i go back to london i'm gonna add i'm gonna get to record as well record him as well take pictures with me with him so he will be like in this vlog too Listen, this man is like, it is great how like some people's got jobs like that. He made me go from a double G, 42 double G, yeah, to a fucking D. And that is crazy. But yeah, I can't wait to add this bit to this so you guys can see what kind of man he is. He's humble, he's jokey, he's just no like he's just god he's not god but he's used by god so yeah i've now called the nurse and i've asked her to bring me tea so this is my breakfast some salty some some healthy style breakfast this is where i call my nurse through this thing oops yes i just pressed this red button and this is for the lights Yeah, so this is my breakfast. Can't be having English breakfast. Have to have this. So it's now 11.50, which means it's 8 a.m. in London. Let me go near the light. And I'm getting discharged from the hospital back to my hotel. It's, uh, it's been very good in here. And I've been treated very nicely. So whilst I'm in the hotel, I'm going to get my nurse checking up on me every day. And before I go, I'm going to still get to see my surgeon, which is away from the town for two weeks. And yeah, we move. This was the bed that I was at for our must stay. The hospital private room. 
Oops. So I'm getting my finger remover out my hand now. Hopefully it doesn't hurt. I'm trying not to scream. So yeah, I'm getting this removed and then I'm going to make my way downstairs because my um, car is waiting for me downstairs to take me back to the hospital. Your pressure, five minutes, okay? Okay, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oops. This is how the entrance of the hospital looks like. And I'm just waiting for my transfer. So yeah. I'm not looking my best, by the way. My hair needs to be combed. See, and my hand is really swollen now that the needle has come off. So, yeah, here we go. This is the outside. I'm really leaving in slippers. I guess that is my private van that's gonna take me back. And it really says clinic hub there, so that's kind of cute. This is where. Istanbul looks like oh shit then yeah so this is very cute it's actually the clinic hubs car oops and this is the inside thank you oops and here we go So we have arrived back at the hotel. <gasps> Thank you. We're being taken to our room. I think this one, they told me in the reception that it was going to be, this is my number now. It's a double size. Thank you. A double, a king size bedroom. That's what they said. And, but they're going to move us eventually. So, yeah. This one is cute as well. This is the view from this room. That's Istanbul for you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so when I got this charged from the hospital this morning, I wasn't given my medicine because they had already delivered it to the hotel where I'm staying at. So they came and delivered all this in my room, which is what I'm going to have to keep up with. This is quite a lot. This is the cutest, I've got to say. This is so cute. And it's a mirror. Let's have a look. Ooh, girl. No, I'm in love with Kinnick Hub. Definitely advise anyone to be coming. So I will be taking this twice a day after every meal. I will be taking this an antiseptic cream. Yeah, this is an antiseptic cream. I think I have to put it when I'm changing my dressings. I will be taking this twice a day after every meal, so these two go together. I will be taking this four times a day. Well, after every meal. What the hell? I will be taking this the information before breakfast this i'm not too sure about what it is oh it's an antiseptic as well and then i've got my scar cream this scar cream is only going to start being used after my my crusts have have come off and my wound looks pink that's when I start using this for six months, little amounts, twice a day, uh, for six months. Yeah, and it should improve the scarring. So the scarring is like the least thing I should be worried about. But this, but this is so cute. So I've got three pillows in my legs, looking like a better, and I've got four pillows behind my back just because 
I've come back to the hotel room now and I can't lay flat. When I lay flat, I feel all the pressure. I feel like my boobs are being pulled. So I need this many pillows for me to feel comfortable. If I lay flat, it really hurts me. So this is the way I have to sleep. Five pillows behind my back and oh, and three down there. So I can be like in a vertical position sort of thing. In a V. That's the only way I don't feel pressure in my boobs. Um, I have taken my medication and I'm going to take two more before I sleep. My head hurts from the medication I'm on. Like, hurts. This is day two. This is post-op day two. I've had to sleep with eight pillows. As I told you guys last night, my lips are still messed up. They look horrible. Right now, the weather looks horrible. I'm doing just fine. I've got no pain whatsoever, but my head is busting because I can't adjust it to the time in here. I really can't. I've been awake since midnight all the way to seven. I'm going to take my breakfast. I've taken my medication before the breakfast. I'm gonna go and eat my breakfast now then i'm gonna take the rest of my medication and go back to sleep because my sleep is messed up my pattern is absolutely messed up my lips look disgusting so this is the breakfast buffet that we're gonna be having today don't know what the hell this is oh they've got little teas i guess that's butter Fruits, all I need. All I need right now. Oh my god, Turkish people are so extra. Okay. Okay, that looks cool. Um, the yogurts, etc. Yeah. And juices, water. This could be so much more simple if it was just an English breakfast. Pancakes. Cheesy tomato. So we just finished having our breakfast. My skin has come off. It so it doesn't look that bad now, but it hurts more. I'm gonna go back to sleep because I haven't been able to sleep from 12 a.m. until seven. And then I got up at nine to come and have breakfast. And it's only 6 a.m. in London. In here is nine. I'm going, I'm going back to sleep. I'm not adjusting myself to this timings. I'm not. I refuse. This is still day two. Bearing in mind, I have to take this two antibiotics after after uh, my meals twice a day. So this is going to be my first dose of the day. So. Me and my mother are dressed in the same t-shirt because everything I buy, she wants. <laughs> so we are now going to have our dinner. <sighs> yeah. Day three post up. Um, I'm so tired, that's why. It is currently 9 a.m. here. Which means it is 6 a.m. for you lot in London. We are going down for breakfast. Um, update on any pains. I rarely feel any, to be honest. But I st I'm still sleeping with eight pillows. So I just got my dressing changes again. Tomorrow will be my last appointment. A day before I go back and I'm getting to see my doctor and add him to this vlog as well and then we're all done
was shining, B. Guys, let me tell you something mental that just, just happened. Basically, me and my mum went for a walk around the area. And, oh, I forgot to even record it for you guys. Can you imagine that? Because I got a call. But we went for just a walk. But I'll record it again when I go out at night. Basically, we found like a little restaurant around here. That restaurant is where we're going to eat. Because uh, we've been eating in the rest in the rooftop restaurant from the hotel where we're staying at. Shit, my hands are dry. Yeah, where we're staying at. But, um... We went and walked around and we found another restaurant, which is Steaks and Burgers. So, I've been craving ice cream since this morning. Uh, yeah, I've been craving ice cream since this morning. And m when we got to the restaurant, I looked at the menu and I saw that there was ice cream. And my mum was like, oh, just ask for it. And they said six liras, which is, let's pretend six liras is six pounds, yeah. So, I ate the ice cream, all good, all sorts, yeah. All that jazz. And then I'm asking for the bill, innit? And I was like to my mum, oh, tonight we're coming to actually eat it here. Because, like, it looks good. The restaurant looks good. looks cheap and stuff. So, I'm eating the, the ice cream, etc. And when I'm asking for the bill, it's telling me um, 18 liras. When really and truly, I clearly saw six. So, I screwed up my face like this. And the man was like, oh, no, 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 no. It's just 18 liras because I gave you free scoops. I said, I never asked you for free scoops. I just said I wanted ice cream. And I said that I want one portion. So why are you giving me free scoops when you know free scoops is going to add up to 18 liras? So I only paid six and I walked out like a bad bitch. What do you mean, fam? Some try to finesse me in Turkey. Time. What do you mean you're trying to finesse? What do you mean you're trying to finesse me in Turkey? What do you mean? Why do... Like, you know that's one thing you need to be aware of to like whatever country you go to especially when their currency is different they will try and finish you so just be aware <laughs> best believe i came out like this my feet is dry we're going to eat just in front of my hotel this is the outside the hotel i'm staying at is right there um <clears throat> we're tired of eating in the hotel's restaurant plus uh, anyway they tried to bump us here earlier on but we're coming back so hopefully the men feel so shy to the point where we can actually eat for free i'm joking not eat for free but you know i'm not dumb when it comes to my money so we're eating here burger and steak and i'm gonna show you a lot of the food as soon as we get in so this is it we're gonna choose what we want i can't have no fat foods and stuff so um i'm not sure what i'm gonna have probably have like chicken and stuff but the menu looks very good though oh yeah i'm actually so picky so this is the soup of the day but it's really nice this small little portion, I can actually count the chips. Oh my god. And that's my mum's one. But yeah, we move anyway. Let me not complain. Said Coke, not Diet Coke. That doesn't taste right. Or Zero Coke, whatever it is. Coke Zero. I had to order Fanta, which tastes better than normal Fanta. So there's something wrong with this Fanta. But yeah, I can count the chips in my plate. This is so bad. But you know, we move. This is day four, post up day four. Um, tomorrow we'll be going back to London, finally. Um, we are having our breakfast, but I'm really tired. So I can't wait to finish having my breakfast and go back to bed. So um, I'm going back to London tomorrow. Today will be my last appointment with my surgeon, which I can't wait because obviously like straight after my surgery, he stayed out of the, of the town for two days. So I'm going to get to see him again and add him to this vlog and etc. And you guys are going to see how good he is. I like, I don't know, I even feel like some sort of way towards this man. Not, not that way, but it's like because he's changed my life. It's like I don't even know how to look at him. I don't know how to thank him. 
but uh, he's so nice, he's jokey. Um, you guys are gonna get to see him. So if you do ever come to get your surgery done, if you do ever end up coming to get your surgery done, please look for him. He's, he's just great, he's great. So he will tell you in your face that, yes, you could end up with no nipple, but then after, everything when okay cool he does have to let you know about the risks but it's like i was looking at him like really really you're telling me i can end up on no nipple really so this is dr douglas are you shooting now yeah okay. <laughs> the guy that's changed my life <laughs> so how was it uh, how has it been our operation uh, uh, in the operation time it was very smooth mm -hmm. we didn't face any problems uh she had no problems during the surgery, after the surgery, and it's our just fourth day, and she, she, she barely has any pain, and the shape, uh, the softness, the tissue circulations, everything seems fine. Her incisions are clean, so she's already ready to go home, safe and sound, and she's shooting this video. But remember you said that I could lose one nipple? <laughs> Yeah, in, when so explain that, 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 that's something we have to tell every patient exactly. because there are things we can control mm -hmm. and there, there are things we cannot control. So we always make a risk assessment before the surgery with the patient. Yeah. Uh, we had a very big breast, we had a very big breast to start with in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a very big breast. So when you have very big breast, the nipple to clavicle uh, distance is very long mm -hmm. and we have to move the nipple to the to same to to a certain place just mm -hmm. to give you a lifted look and there might be some problems with the circulation of blood in your nipples yeah so this might first of all cause a sense of uh, loss of sensation and it might cause a circulation problem which at the end of the day might cause some necrosis yeah so we have to assess the patient about using the medications smoking etc diabetes like this we ask the patients and we make the risk assessment so when you have a very long distance you have you are always at the risk of losing a nipple but uh, we are making our technique better yeah and we are making not aggressive moves in such patients so we have both healthy nipples and she's happy yeah thank you so You're much welcome. bye 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 We have now checked out of the hotel. It is 12.25 here. 12.25 here and we're just waiting for our taxi to pick us up for our transfer. I unfortunately have to be traveling with these socks to prevent me from getting blood clots. Here the boss sits as she owns this motherfucker zip here. <laughs> and um yeah it's been a very good journey to me i'll keep you guys posted on um my post up -op updates and yes i've got to thank clinic hub one more time because this has been great this nigga trying to sell us bags fam wow okay He's a businessman, but I'm a businesswoman too. Minha filha tá toda linda, tá bonita, minha caçule, minha fofinha. Vamos.